All right, when you look at this for on eBay, oh, eBay, <laughs> don't look on eBay. Now, uh, you're going to look for this on YouTube, right? And you're going to look for ALG1, no space, ALG1, right? MTS, space, ALG1, space, HW1.1. And that should bring, bring up pretty much every video for that we do on 1.1, right? And then part of them are going to say uh, 1.1, questions 17 through, in this case, 31, right? And then, um, and then some of them like, are going to say, you know, questions 17 through 25, because that's what I did earlier, and then I did 27 through 31, and then I did 33 through 35, and then I did 37 or something like that. How many do we got to do today? Yeah, 37. So we're actually doing more in one video, okay? Is that video working? Is it on the board? We're good. And um, so in this first one, it's saying, hey, can you rewrite this? in another way, right? And the book would be like, well, that would be the product of 5 and P, right? But I'm not the book. What would you say it was, Eddie? 5 times P. 5 times P. That's what I would say. 5 times P, right? Now, if you wanted to, you could also write it like this, right? 5 times P, right? But, I mean, I'm, I'm good with the 5 times P. This is fine. Okay? Now, the book's going to be looking for the product of 5 and P. Right? The sum of 3 and X. Yes? Right? Well, what's another way to say it besides the sum of 3 and X? 3 addition or add 3. 3 add X. Okay. 3 add X. Or 3... Plus. There you go. Yeah, 3 add x, 3 plus x, whatever. I'm good. I'm easy. Can you also just do it? x, or add 3 to x? Add 3 to x. I'm fine with that. Yeah. It's your words, as long as it means what it's saying. Okay? What's this one? Negative 3 times x. Yep. Negative 3 times S. And this one? Yep. Bless you. Thank you. Okay? Pretty simple stuff. All right? Then isn't it on the words we actually do like the actual thing, like how on 17 it's just 5 and P? Like we have to do that, right? Which one? Well, for 25, we're going to read it when it's saying first, and then we're going to write an expression, right? So what we're looking at is uh, Friday's temperature is 20 degrees warmer than Monday's, right? And, we're, and the temperature is going to be in T, okay? So how could I write that in an expression in T? So I say, okay, T is temperature, right? And so Friday's temperature and Monday's temperature is T, right? So how would I say Friday? Fridays would be equal to what? T minus or T plus 20? Plus. Why plus? Because the heat's getting hotter, not colder. Oh, and hotter means it's more, right? I think so. Okay. Perfect. And that's it, right? Okay. Next. R minus S. What do we do? That's it. 6 minus 5 equals 1. Done. Okay. And then R is R wait, 6, six and, P is three, so and divided by 3 equals 2. two? Oh. Okay. Alright. Done. That was easy. Yeah. Okay. And then um, Jim is paid OT when more than 40 hours per week. Right? This is kind of hard. They're like 
earlier I was asking them, they're like, I don't get it. I don't know how to do the expression, right? And I'm like, well, how would you do an expression in H, in hours? And they're like, I don't know, divide, I don't know, add, multiply, all this sort of, just guessing, yeah? Does anyone have an idea in here besides just guessing? And in one minute, one minute. Give me a second. Okay, go ahead. You add H to 40. Very close. You add H to 40. I like that. You're thinking. You're going, hey, 40. But if H were OT hours, you would be correct. Right? And the way I wrote that, it is, huh? Yeah. The way I wrote that, yeah, that would be, that, that, you're right. But the way it's written in the book is Jim is paid for overtime hours. He works 40 hours per week, okay? Write an expression for the numbers of hours of overtime when he works H hours. So he works so many hours. So H is like however many hours he works. Total hours. So that's good. We have to know that. So H is total hours. Now how would we find it? Wouldn't it be H plus OT? No. How do we find OT from the total number of hours? So 40, 40 hours is his normal time. Whatever he has over that. Exactly. After that is... OT. Yes. So how would we figure that out? If I told you you have 42 hours. I have two hours overtime. How do you do that? It's just two hours over my regular time. Yes, but did you do any math there? No. How about if you did 60? No, it's 20 hours overtime. How'd you get 20? Simple. How? Because 20... 40 plus 20 is 60. Yeah, good. So 40 plus 20 equals 60. But in this case, you're saying his OT, right? Plus his hours, right? Is equal to his total hours, right? So plus 40. That's our given number, right? But what we want to know is what's OT. So wouldn't we just subtract 40 from H? To get OT, right? If I had 50 hours, I could take 40 from 50 and get what? Nothing more complicated than 10. 10. That's more complicated? I mean, it's pretty simple. Yes, it is. But we need an expression to, to do it every single time, right? So if I do 40 here, how many does he do? Four. Yeah. Yeah, and in your head, you're going, because that's 40 plus 12, and that's 40, right? And it's actually more complicated. You're doing it the complicated way. You really are. The more simplistic way would be just subtracting 40 from it. Right? But that's okay. That's okay. That's good. That means you're smarter than the average bear. Right? So what they're looking for here is they're looking for the amount of hours... Minus 40 is equal to this OT. And then you're able to go, okay, he has no OT. He has 4 hours OT. He has 8 hours OT. And he has 12 hours OT because 40 minus 40 is 0. 40 minus 40, or 44 minus 40 is 4. 48 minus 40 is 8. And 52 minus 40 is 12. Okay? That's what they're looking for. Okay? Now... Could you have it your way and say, well, I'm going to figure it out mathematically in my head. How much is this? So I can go, okay, this, so whatever this number, I don't know what it is. It's going to be H, right? 40 plus H equals H. Well, that's kind of weird. So OT equals H. So when they give you 50 here, you're going, well, that has to be 10. And that's good. That works. 40 plus OT equals H. And if they give you 50 for H, then you know how to find OT, right? 
Okay. Done.